on all this stuff happening today. What's your take? Well, I see a lot of people here protesting, you know, in favor of upholding the law, and they're certainly out in numbers. I, I realize a lot of them are from unions, but a lot of them are from pro-choice organizations. And that strikes me as very ironic, because if you believe in choices, if you believe in, in controlling your own destiny, then you believe in taking responsibility for yourself, and you believe in making your own choices about which doctor you want to see, what treatments you want to have, what insurance plan you want to have, what's in it, what's not in it. And, and you believe in free enterprise where there's more choices available to the individual and to families. So that, that just seems so um, con con contradictory in my mind that people who favor choice would favor this law. This law is the most anti-choice law I've ever seen. Absolutely. And they're yelling it. Right. And, 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 and you know, the way they're doing it is, is one person says, you know, this is what we're going to chant. It's a very top-down organized, um, you know, rally here. And that's the way Obamacare works. It's very top-down. Somebody at the top, like Secretary Sebelius, is going to say, this is what we're going to to put in the health care plans in this country and from the top everything will just come down to the individual level instead of a bottom-up sort of health care marketplace where individuals would say I have a demand for this somebody has a supply let's work out a price that's affordable for me and, and as I pointed out in my remarks this isn't a debate about the status quo versus Obamacare. I hope that we get rid of Obamacare so that we can start over on health policy, so that we can create some positive solu solutions. Because, you know, President Obama was right to point out that there are some real problems for certain Americans with access and affordability. But in order to address those problems, we need the right tools. We don't need an entire restructuring of our health care market. We need the right tools, and we need to get government out of the way so that Americans can find those innovative solutions.